Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ryan. Now we're going to do uh, continue the cargo trailer walkthrough, and this time we are looking at the motorcycle chalk system. <music> It's actually pretty darn basic. I've got a motorcycle chalk right there for the front wheel. I've got some rubber mats to protect the floor. And I've got a ramp that comes in and comes down. So turn around here. When it's there's my motorcycle. When it's time to roll it in here, it's pretty straightforward. I just kind of whoa, big bug. I just roll it up the right edge of the ramp, like right in this part. I'm standing over here on this part. I'm not riding it in, I'm walking it in and using the throttle to, you know, get up the ramp. I've got the rubber mats right here, just protect the, uh, you know, the floor from these red tongues, whatever you want to call them, hooks. And they just rest on there. That's rubber matting from um, Tractor Supply. They're about 45 bucks each, super thick and extremely heavy, but very durable. And then another rubber mat here and then the mode the chalk itself you got that thing stays down so you roll up right up into it if you've ever used one of these before this kind of flips up from the weight of the front wheel as it goes in and that kind of cradles the back of the tire and then i just have to strap the motorcycle down which i'm still trying to figure out i've got one eye hook there that's going into a stud and another one there that's going into a stud this one actually bent. You see how it's crooked? That was straight before I started my trip. But yesterday, things moved around a little bit and started to bend. I also have an E-Track. I don't know if you can see that right there, sort of hiding under my bed a little bit into that back door. Um, that kind of holds it there too. I run a strap to that guy. So I had one, two, I had three straps and then another strap bringing it in, pulling it down into the wheel chalk. So I just ran like a strap from here up through the forks and kind of back down again to kind of cinch the whole thing and kind of pull it down in here. But even so it, the back wheel walked over a little bit towards the wall and it kind of went cockeyed and ended up down on its kickstand. And this, this was the result. The kickstand wore a big old nasty hole in my floor. Don't know if you can see that. That kind of sucks. Anyway, I'll just have to color that in basically and do it right the next time. I'll probably end up buying an expensive rear wheel chalk system, the kind that pops in and out and kind of connects to the rear axle. And that way I don't have to have straps because even though those are expensive, it does save you from running straps and all that. You can just, you know, put the chalk on, crank a bar down that snaps onto the wheel and it ain't going nowhere. So pricey, but probably worth it. But the whole idea of this cargo trailer is I wanted to be able just to bring my motorcycle, roll it down the ramp here, and then off I go into the wild blue yonder, which I'm about to do now that we're done shooting videos. So that's pretty much the entirety of my rig. I do plan to cover up that Ace Fleet wash because that's not my business or my phone number. I bought this thing used. Um, I kind of like the paint job on it, but now it's, it, it is kind of bright. I think I'm going to go something a little more subtle, a little more white in general. Uh, anyway, so there's the truck, anti-sway hitch, propane on the front with pipes that, you know, the propane line that protrudes through the bull nose. Let me show you that. This is how we're going through the bull nose to feed propane into the interior underneath the sink. And that's really about it. And I got my solar panels up there that is collect it's cloudy right now, so it's not gathering much sun, but I'm also using extremely little power. And I love how the idea of just taking the motorcycle, which is a Honda NC700X, I love the idea of just taking it, rolling it right into the back of the, uh, the rig. Ooh, there's horse poop all over the ground here. And uh, put it right inside and away I go. That was the whole idea. So it's worked out pretty well. I'm very happy with the setup. I like the way it's worked out. It's been an incredible amount of work and a big investment, but I don't mind, you know, investing in things that I'm going to use for a long, long time, hopefully for years to come. And this is going to be a mobile work rig. So I can do my, I do uh, internet security or cyber security, I should say, for a corporation. And I'm going to be able to do it from the road with good Wi-Fi set up and plenty of juice in my battery. So it's worked out pretty well so far. So thanks for watching. 
like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.